Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss the use of identity property to rename or to write equivalent fractions. We know that if we multiply any number with 1, we obtain the same number that is a into 1 will be equal to a where a is any number this is the identity property of multiplication and 1 is called the multiplicative identity So now we shall discuss identity property of multiplication method of writing equivalent fractions. The identity property of multiplication uses a fraction with the same numerator and denominator. For example, 6 by 6 to write an equivalent fraction. Suppose we have a fraction 3 by 7 and we have to write its equivalent fraction with denominator 14. We know that 7 into 2 is equal to 14. So we multiply the given fraction by 2 by 2. We get 3 by 7 into 2 by 2 which is equal to 6 by 14. So now we get an equivalent fraction with denominator 14. So we rename the fraction 3 by 7 as 6 by 14. We should note that the fraction 2 by 2 is equal to 1. So, it does not change the given fraction when it is multiplied by 2 by 2. Thus, we say it is identity property of multiplication method of writing equivalent fractions. Now, let us write two equivalent fractions for 1 by 3 for this we multiply 1 by 3 by any fraction having same numerator and denominator so let us choose the fractions as 4 by 4 and 5 by 5. So we get 1 by 3 into 4 by 4 which is equal to 4 by 12 and 1 by 3 into 5 by 5 which is equal to 5 by 15. Here also we should note that the fractions 4 by 4 and 5 by 5 are equal to 1. Thus, we have renamed the fraction 1 by 3 as 4 by 12 and 5 by 15 by using identity property. Thus, in this session we have discussed the use of identity property to rename or to write equivalent fractions. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.